Greetings and welcome to the Elite One training videos. This video will be focusing on Microsoft Word 2007 character formatting. This interface is what we'll be using to deal with the character formatting. Predominantly we'll be using the group called the font group. It will be under the home tab up at the top on the toolbars. You have your options of selecting different fonts, different bolds, and other styles of font and character formatting. If we select the text, we have a little toolbar that will pop up. It allows us quick access to the basic and common editing tasks for doing character formatting or anything else that you have selected. Within it, it has a lot of those common tools, bold, italics, some font alignments, colorations, and so forth. It's quite handy. All you need to do is select some text and choose your options. Let's change some of the font faces here. What we'll need to do is select the text that we want to add the effect to or add the formatting to. After that, we can either use the, this quick access bar or we can go up to the top where the font group is. To change the size, you can either click on the drop down arrow and select the font size or type your font size in the box. The same process works for the font group up at the top. In order to change the font face, you can select from the drop down menu here a different font face or you can do it from the font group up top. And once you have made your selection, it changes the text that you have highlighted and selected. Let's go ahead and add some more effects to the text that we have on our screen. So what we'll need to do is select the next text that we want to add an effect to. Once we have the text selected, we can, can either use this quick toolbar that appears right over the text, or we can go up to the top and select our font effect. In this case, let's bold our text. So go ahead and click on the B button to bold the text. add other effects, again just highlight the word or text that you wish to add an effect to. And we can choose either from our quick toolbar to add some effects, or we can come up and add an italicize or underline effect to our text. With the underline you can choose the underline style by clicking on the little arrow that's beside the U button allows you to change the type of underlining that you have. This can be rather effective if you're trying to get across a particular point or would like to do any special emphasis. The next effect we apply can be an italicize effect. Basically just makes the text italics. As you can see, the quick toolbar doesn't offer a huge variety of effects. The font group at the top offers far more effects and far more options to edit your characters and the text that you have on the screen. There is even a small little box at the right side of the font group. This little box is called the dialog box launcher. What this will do is open the dialog box you're familiar with from Office 2003. This allows you to do far more editing and far more font formatting than any of the other toolbars allow you to do. Make sure that you're clicked on the font tab in order to change the font effects. We have strike throughs, we have all kinds of other 
additional effects that we can apply. You can check all or none of them to add your effect. Here you can also see a quick preview of what it will look like. We also have the options of changing the font face, the font style, and the font size. Once you've made your selections, click the OK button. There's also an option within the font category for changing the case of your text. You have several different options. Sentence case, lower case, upper case, capitalize each word, and toggle case. We also have the option of highlighting our text, just as if you would take one of those classic highlighters and mark all over a paper. Here what we have to do is select the text we wish to highlight, and we can either choose from the quick toolbar the highlight option and choose our color, or we can go up to the font group, click on the same highlight button, and choose the color of highlighting that we would like. Once we've made the selection of color, we see that the text has then been highlighted. Now if we want to clear the formatting, make everything back to the way it was and start from scratch, there's a simple button up in the font group up top for clear formatting. Simply select the text that you wish to clear the formatting on and click on that little button. What it will do is just remove all the formatting in order to remove that highlighting simply select the text and then we're going to choose the highlight and say no color that will remove the highlight. We will also need to change the case structure back to the original sentence case that Microsoft Word uses for the default. The clearing the formatting does not affect the case structure of your sentences.